TravelingMel.com. Hello from Old Faithful area of Yellowstone. This has got to be one of the most famous and popular parts of the very famous and popular park, and for good reason. Old Faithful Geyser is one of the reasons that this became our first national park, the whole world's first national park. So I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna be crowded, it's gonna be crazy unless you come in winter. Um, there's gonna, there will be a lot of people here because you're not the only one that wants to see the Old Faithful Geyser. But we're gonna show you some of the best things to see while you're here in the Old Faithful area. Old Faithful Inn is one of the most iconic structures here at Yellowstone National Park and when you're in the Old Faithful area you should definitely check it out. It was built in 1904 by a 29-year-old architect from Ohio and it's meant to bring the forest indoors so there's all this log and wood and stuff inside too. There are tours four times a day. You can just show up and take a tour of the inn. You can get information about what time Old Faithful and other geysers are going to erupt or predicted to erupt. There's a coffee bar, um, there is a restaurant here. There's always something going on, art or something down in the lobby as well. You can find out the old time for the Old Faithful Geyser eruption. And this balcony up here is a great place to watch the eruption. You're not as close, but it's quieter. And there's also a coffee cart and a bar right inside. So if you need a little beverage to watch the geyser with, you can do that too. The number one thing you need to do at the Old Faithful area is, of course, see the Old Faithful geyser, which is not as impressive when it's not erupting, but when it is, it's really, really pretty cool. There's a lot of different places you can see it. This boardwalk makes kind of a U all around, so there's three sides. We really like seeing it from the uh, balcony of the Old Faithful Inn. You're a little farther away, but it's quiet, it's nice. There's also a hike you can do up to Observation Point up on the hill, and you are pretty far away, but you're kind of by yourself at least. So lots of ways to view it, and if you want to find out the time, I have all the details in the blog post, how you can figure out what time it's going predicted to erupt, even if you're at home. Um, but basically check in any of the visitor centers or the inn or anywhere and they'll have it listed if you're here. One of your first stops if you come to Old Faithful should probably be the Visitor Center. It's a pretty new Visitor Center. It's really beautiful and it has a lot of interactive exhibits and you can get all the information you need for your stay here. You can find out when the Ranger programs are going. There's a separate Junior Ranger station but you can get information on that too. And uh, there's a great kids room. It's really, like I said, interactive, hands-on and fun plus a bookstore, and um, if it's a really inclement, terrible weather, you can even watch uh, the eruption of the geyser from this big window right here. One of my favorite things to do in the Old Faithful area is the Observation Point Trail. It's only a half a mile up to Observation Point. It's kind of steep though, and from there you can see the geyser erupt, Old Faithful and it's just really pretty. You can see flowers and things like that. Then you can take that over to Solitary Geyser, which is a little burbling geyser that's kind of always going off, not very high, and it's really beautiful. Um, and you really will be alone at Solitary Geyser, and then you can join back up the Upper Geyser Trail. Old Faithful isn't the only geyser in the Old Faithful area, far from it. And there are a hundred and something other geysers as well. And a lot of them are just as, mm, not as iconic, but pretty cool. So you can take a walk on the Upper Geyser Trail around Geyser Hill. There's trails that go out to Morning Glory and Biscuit Basin. And it's definitely worth exploring um, the other geysers at Old Faithful. If you are interested in park history or art, you might want to stop by the Haynes Photo Shop here in um, Old Faithful area. And uh, the Haynes were folks that came out in the early 1900s, and they had photo shops throughout the parks. And they took throughout the park, and they took a lot of photos, and they sold postcards, and they were pretty important in the history of the park. Now they do artist workshop. Um, there's some historical information in there and they have current artists on exhibit as well. Yeah, 
The last thing I think you should do at Old Faithful, and frankly I think this is good advice no matter where you go, is get some ice cream. There are places all over, all over here where you can get ice cream, you can get regular, you can get soft serve, you can get whatever you want. So get some ice cream. Those are just a few of the great things you can do here at Old Faithful, some of the best things. There will be a lot more details and information on the blog at yellowstonetrips.com. And thanks for watching. We hope you will share the video. You will like it. You will tell your friends, thumbs up, all that kind of stuff. Bye.